these lights on? Oh. Hello, sir. What are you doing here so early? And still in your suit from yesterday, no less. Did you sleep here? It's not that hard to figure out. Your sofa has a blanket over it, and that is your suitcase. Packed in properly, I might add. Looks like you packed in a hurry. May I ask what is going on? So, it finally happened. Miss Executive Vice President kicked you to the curb, did she? Oh, sir. But are you really surprised? I mean... With that little stunt we pulled in the guest house the other day, and not to mention those panties I accidentally left in your car, your driver said those weren't the first he found, so... She what? She was having an affair. And now she's leaving you for someone else. You're one of the richest men in the country. Who on earth would she leave you for? <laughs> oh, is that so? Well, I hope that she and Miss Brooke will be very happy together. I always did think that Gabby Brooks was a truly awful interior designer. I'm glad she's found something else to focus her attention on. She and your wife are a perfect match, if I do say so myself. And I do understand where your wife is coming from. <sighs> Even though that Gabby didn't have a drop of taste in her body, her body itself is very appealing. Hmm. Maybe I should find myself a beautiful woman to have a dalliance with. They are such delicious creatures, as you would know. Sir? Are you bothered? Oh, sir, I... I'm sorry. I... I didn't mean to tease so much. I simply thought, well... From the way you talked about her, I really thought you didn't care for your wife at all anymore. But... Yes, I still should have been more understanding, right off the bat. You two were college sweethearts, weren't you? That's a long time to live with someone, be with them. And even if you did grow apart, you still grew together. While you have no right to be upset over her betrayal, however <laughs> surprising it is, it's nothing you haven't perpetrated yourself, with my help, admittedly. Hmm. But still, for you to know that she was lacking in that devotion you'd come to depend on, that bolstered your self-esteem, it must be hard. I'm not sure what to say to comfort you. But business is what I do best, so I'll get down to it. Would you like me to give your lawyer a call right away, or do you still want a moment to process? Uh, luckily, you have the best team under you, so she can't hope to sweep all your assets away. You have your penthouse to live in, and really, is that so bad? I I've known you to sleep there most nights now anyways, and not by your lonesome, I might add. Everything is going to work out just fine, sir. And I promise, I personally will work extra hard to make sure that you don't have to stress over this. I'm a very capable secretary, as you know. You won't have to lift a finger if you don't want to. And I can easily keep your mind on other things. 
Like that meeting you have at 2 p.m. today. Or would you rather postpone all that? There is this wonderful thing that some bosses do called taking the day off. <laughs> no one faults them for it, you know. You are the big man calling the shots around here. Who would say anything if you needed some time off for personal reasons? And I could help you make that time off. Very, very personal and worthwhile. Just the two of us, letting off steam, somewhere far away from prying co-workers. You wouldn't have to think a single conscious thought. Just feel what you want to feel, as I do whatever you tell me to. Isn't that really the purpose you've had me serve this whole time? Taking your mind off of things. Relieving your stress. Working the kinks out of that high-powered body of yours. <laughs> After years of service, don't you think I can get you through this difficult patch as well? I'm here by your side, sir. Through thick and then, even when you're hard on me and rough, haven't I always been there for you? Why would I abandon you now? Just give me an order, and I'm your woman on the job. So, what do you say? Will you take a few days off to cool down and relax? I can handle most things here. Also, a man like you shouldn't be sleeping in his office. Why did you do that anyway when you have a beautiful penthouse to stay at? Ah, unless you lost your keys again. <sighs> Which, if you did, I suggest checking your pinstripe Navy Brooks Brothers suit pocket. Or your top drawer, which... <clears throat> yes. Just as I suspected. Here they are. If that should happen in the future, Conrad at the desk said he's always willing to let you in if you need it, and... <sniffs> uh, what was that for, sir? A little thank you. Listen, I know I... I poke fun sometimes about being vital to you. But in all seriousness, there truly is no need to thank me. I'm devoted to you, sir. Body and soul. And not just as my employer, but as the man that I love to serve. <sighs> being your secretary... This position, and the many positions we find ourselves in, it's given my life a purpose. Before, with less hmm, commanding bosses, I would find myself dreading coming into work. Long, dull days. But with you, sir, I'm filled passion and excitement, your challenging requests in and outside of the office make me eager to please you. This bump in the road you're experiencing, I have no doubt that you will come out on top simply because of the amazing and capable man you are, and I'll be there to support you the whole way. Oh, would you look at the time. Uh, your other employees will be arriving soon, and they can't possibly catch you in yesterday's clothes with bags under your eyes. I'll have a new suit sent in from your tailor right away, and then you can make the announcement that you'll be taking some time off. I'll make all the necessary calls 
and schedule things from there. <laughs> now, before someone comes looking for us, let's see if I can't do something to perk you up a bit, hmm? you poor tired thing. That couch couldn't have been too comfortable, and in these rigid dress pants no less. Well, sir, what are your orders? <laughs>